Opie Smith, ladies and gentlemen, up next. Here we go. Something I've done time after time, every time I've walked out here and looked all of you people in your hopeful eyes. I've, I've always sat here and talked about the past. Opie Smith is a man of the past. He's, he's always dwelling in it. Well, fuck that shit. I'm in here to discuss the future of the ABWF because the future is now. And I don't like where the future's going. Jay, I'm your tag team partner. It's not that I want to be by your side, it's that I need to be by your side. Because if I'm not, then what do those tag team titles represent? Does it represent you and your run? Me and my run? Does it represent both of our runs together, the combined effort? I think it's option C. I think it's supposed to be about the both of us. And listen, I'm not going to talk about your Universal World Championship run. That's, that's a different story for another day. That's for other bitches to complain about. The future right now, it's, it's not looking like something that these people deserve. Especially with alter ego. God damn. God fucking damn. Future is now, Opie Smith. Your microphone. Yeah, the future is now, and it's warp and alter ego. You see, forensic fatal four-way. Who came out on top? Us. Deranged minds. That's what they like to call us. We didn't give ourselves that name. No. You want to talk about the future? Chicago Rumble is your future, and it's with us. I just want to say this whole melodramatic thing here, this little uh, ballad you're having with Jay Vice, better get your hands together real soon, otherwise, you know, things might oh, change. Oh, trust me. Trust me, I know. And I know the past I'm looking at it, and right now I'm looking at it dead in the eyes. Because here's what I'm noticing. You know, Rich Grimace was kind of a joke when he started off, and then he started the Collectors of Vengeance, and they had a shot. And right now what I'm seeing is a freak who might have a shot. First of all, Opie, I'm not out here to banter with you. I'm not out here to disrespect you. I'm out here to tell you better fix your problems. Because I don't give a damn about them, and neither does Alter Ego in the back. I came out here because I wanted to confront you. You want to talk about your boy? You better talk about your fate. Chicago Rumble, understand. Ain't no stopping us. You understand that? Of course, I'm not out here to banter, but I am here to beg a question. Are you going to do the one thing that Rich and Gibson couldn't do? Are you going to turn from a joke into one of the greatest tag teams in the history of wrestling? And if you are, then how are you going to do it? You want to call me a joke because the way I look? Because the way I wear my outfit? Because the way I speak? Yes. Opie Smith, I can consider the same thing to you. You're like a joke in Jay's eyes, but you wouldn't want to admit that. And everyone in telling you that, you're just saying that everyone has the same material, but what if that's just the reality and you just can't really accept it? You see, I'm not a, a doofus. I got a mind. And I just want to let you know, Opie, that you owe us one. You remember that, Opie? Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Oh, trust me, me and Jay remember that one, but... <laughs> you're right, we have a... Uh... We have a few problems that we gotta figure out, but let me tell you something. That's none of your fucking concern. Because Opie Smith can fight his own battles. Actually, it is all of my concern. Let's, let's take it a few months back, seven months back. Showdown. In June, we sacrificed our tag team championship opportunity to make sure that VCW got a point in the system. While you and the rest of the ABW and the rest of VCW, excuse me, I forgot about that whole shit. Lost clean 4-0. to 
against Team ABW. Remember that? Without us getting the count out, you know what would happen? Your worst nightmare. You owe us, Vice Smith. You owe us for Hey, don't get me wrong, of course we owe you. And of course, I look forward to seeing what it is that you're gonna accomplish in that ring, but just so you know, me and Jay, me and myself, we've been through thick and thin, and right now things are being ran thin, but trust me, they're gonna get a whole lot thicker. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal, because that's exactly what this tag team title is. That's some thick gold on that fucking belt. Because you need to be a thick man with thick skin to earn that fucking title. So if you want to come out here and talk thick with me, then you better expect a thick ass match in that fucking ring when I rip your ass in half. Because Opie Smith doesn't take shit. Opie only does it. See you then.